Hello everyone, this is Almir, VE3DAL. Uh, today here I am in my backyard and uh, I'd like to show you my new uh, homebrew antenna, the Moxon for uh, 20 meters. So I decided to build this antenna uh, because it's uh, affordable, uh, it has a great performance and um, and it's kind of similar as uh, the Delta Loop antenna, the one that I just built uh, about a month ago or so. And, uh, and also, uh, it cost me almost the same thing. I already had like the two uh, fishing poles, so I bought two other ones and uh, about 100 feet of uh, speaker wire. So everything cost me uh, just over $100. And uh, for the, the quality of this antenna, it's, it's, it's amazing. And uh, so let's take a closer look. So let's start with the, uh, the uh, hub. Um, today I don't know uh, how the quality of the audio will be uh, because it's quite windy here out here today. Uh, so uh, first I built this hub here with PVC pipe and uh, basically the same size but it was like uh, one pipe cross over each other at this point in here and also uh, held in by the, uh, the U-bolt but the problem was uh, it kept uh, shifting uh, so that it didn't work and then um, I saw this uh, video on YouTube that this guy he built uh, uh, the, uh, this type of a hub for a 6 meter band and so after I look at it, I said, well, uh, that it, it might work for the, uh, you know, if you want to build a 20 meters one. So I use it here, um, uh, one inch diameter uh, copper pipe. And this pipe is uh, the type here in Canada, they call the type M, which is the flexible one. And then there's the L type, which is the hard one. And, uh, so, and then in the middle, um, basically I just mark them <laughs> with the hammer. Uh, and, uh, and then the angle, like between this pipe and this one here, it should be around uh, 40 degree angle on both sides. And I think uh, the, the way that I, that I did it was I, I drew a piece of paper and every time I would you know, uh, try to uh, flat this in the middle, the pipe would go up. So, and then I would put both of them together and try to match the 40 degree angle. So I'm not sure if it's, if it's quite 40 degree angle here, but it's pretty close. I, and also you can be compensated after with the, uh, the fishing rods, which is flexible. So I'm not sure, I don't think it, this is a critical part, but uh, it's pretty close. And uh, so the, I left uh, about, uh, about almost two feet of uh, PVC pipe on top. And the reason is for, uh, one is for the uh, coax cable at the feed point. And then uh, sometimes uh, it, you need a sort of a, a little piece of uh, rope to uh, hold the, uh, the fishing rods on the right position. So. Like today, I think I got pretty good, uh, almost, you know, pretty straight. And uh, so I only need uh, two of them, as you can see. So this is the feed point. Um, I use it a little piece of uh, a PCB uh, board. Uh, the reason is because it's, uh, you know, there are a bunch of holes, which is easier to make uh, uh, some extra holes and also I had so many uh, around so but you can use it like a piece of uh, plastic or something so and the the bolts I use it the uh, plastic bolts which is much lighter than the, than the metal ones and uh, so at this point here I use light material because if you don't then it's gonna curve so So at the end of the fishing rods, um, I don't know if you can see well here, um, I, I printed on my TD printer uh, this little cap in here to, to fit in the, in the, over the rod. 
and at the end there is a little fish eye here I don't know if you can see it and uh, held him by the uh, the wire is held by the uh, carabina and uh, and the uh, the zip lock so it, w it works pretty well I think he broke it once but that's about it so in here we have one of the uh, spacers um, apparently I heard the this is a critical point, like in terms of the measures, like from one end to the other. Um, in this case, I used a, a piece of plastic, a very thin piece of plastic that I cut out. And uh, I did it this way because uh, I think in terms of measurements, it's more accurate than if you uh, use it, uh, a piece of rope. And also, I'm not that good in knots, so it's uh, a piece of rope, you know, sometimes it gets loose. You never know and uh, so in here to hold I uh, uh, use it again a uh, plastic uh, bolt and nut so to make it really lighter and uh, I think it works pretty well now um, I found that the, the trickiest part of this antenna is uh, the tuning part um, unlikely like the uh, delta loop antenna. Uh, the delta loop antenna is basically one big wire like from uh, the start to the end and and it's easier to tune in uh, depending where you want to fall uh, the deep fall uh, on the frequency so it's it's just one piece of wire. Now this one here we have two pieces of wire and like two elements and and also corners so I basically, I think this was the third piece of uh, set of wires that I had to cut. Uh, the two first ones, I, it was like way like uh, in the front, like on top of the band. It was like uh, 14 megahertz point six somewhere in there. And then the second one, I thought I cut a little bigger, but it still, it was like 14.4. So when the, the, this third one, I think he's falling like on uh, at the beginning of the band so uh, so that's the trickiest part plus um, if you want to add uh, let's say if you're too short you want to add a piece of wire it's very complicated because then you have to recalculate all the measurements again because of the corners so that that makes very uh, very hard to do it you know comparing uh, with the Delta loop antenna so at this point, I think it's about only uh, six feet high uh, uh, above the ground. And it's, it's very low, of course. And, uh, but I wanna take this antenna to the park. Also, uh, I wanna take it to the cottage. Uh, I cannot wait to take this antenna to the cottage and raise, you know, somewhere about 20 feet, somewhere in there. And um, as you can see right now, uh, because of the curves of the uh, fishing rods, you gain right here like you gain at least you know between maybe four feet somewhere in there three four feet height so it's it's pretty cool right from the start you gain height you know and uh yeah so what uh, i cannot wait to take this antenna to to uh to the field or and also it, it can be portable as it, it the way it's designed as you can see it's right now it's on top of the uh, camera tripod so let's go on the inside and uh, hook this thing up and uh, and see how it works. Okay, so let's take a SWR reading. So there it is, and it's 1.16 1 at 14054. Um, as you can see, it's right at the beginning of the band. Uh, the two first wire when I cut it, you end up somewhere in here, the deepest fall. And uh, I'm sure this SWR could be better if it was uh, higher and uh, in a more free space, not you know surrounded by a house like that. But uh, I think it's still workable, and uh, we'll see. And. Uh, Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima. Uh, Victor Echo 3, uh, Delta Alpha Lima, is this Albert? 
Roger, roger, my friend. Uh, your report is 5757. Today I'm just uh, testing a homebrew uh, MOX and antenna in my backyard, QSL. Boy, hey, it's a MOX on uh, antenna. I'm Uh, 73, my friend. Thank you for the report. Uh, yeah, uh, you're, you're 5, you're 5, you're by the way. Uh, QSL, QSL, my friend. Uh, thank you for the report and uh, have a fun out there. Finally, I did one contact, uh, but the the noise it's it's very bad. Uh, I think obviously because you know I'm surrounded by houses here, and uh, he gave him the report of five three. It's funny. The other day, uh, this is not the first time I did this setup here in the backyard. Uh, a couple of days ago, I did the same thing, and it was much better. Uh, I got signal. I, I think I got a couple of signals five eight and five nine. So. Uh, I mean, obviously, it depends what the day, you know, and the, the, uh, the situation, the band, whatever. But uh, yeah, it's working, I guess. And uh, uh, if I had an antenna tuner, I think it would be much better. But uh, I, I, my it doesn't work. So anyways, uh, so anyways, let's see if I do a couple more uh, contacts. Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima. Roger, roger, my friend, you're 5555 five, five into Ottawa, Ontario. I'm just testing a Moxon antenna in my backyard, the QSL. Roger, roger, my name is Almir Alpha Lima, Mike India Romeo, QSL. Uh, roger, roger, my friend. Uh, I'm very happy to know it's working. Actually, it's just uh, six feet above the ground right now. But uh, in the future, I, I look forward to put this thing higher. QSL? Yes, QSL. It's working good. Roger, roger, my friend. Uh, thank you very much uh, for, for the contact and uh, for the report. and. Uh, be safe out there, safety driver, thank you. You bet, you bet. 35 in snow showers here in uh, the northeast Minnesota area today. So we got a nice warm caboose to ride in. Any down here, we'll catch you down the law. The BE3 Delta Alpha Lima will November Sierra Zero, Sierra Rancho. Bye bye. Roger, Roger, uh, November Sierra Zero, Sierra Romeo. Uh, uh, Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima, 73, all the best. Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima.
Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima. Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima. QSL, QSL, my friend, good afternoon. You're 5959 into Ottawa, Ontario, QSL. Yeah, what's your name? Thanks a lot. Too much QSL from you, yeah. 73, yes, thank you, Nick. And all the best. Good luck from you to one. Bye bye, Nikolai. Thank you very much for the contact. Wow, that was uh, Bulgaria. <laughs> uh, people were jumping all over, I guess. And uh, but he gave him a report of five six, which is not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, the antenna is only six feet high from the ground. I mean, unbelievable. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm looking forward to taking this antenna to the park. I think maybe tomorrow or uh, Sunday. And uh, but for sure, I would take this, this antenna to the, the cottage as well, anyways. Um, all right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and uh, please leave me a comment down. Uh, and um, yeah, so um, I'll see you the next one 73. Thank you.